Yo, 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 yo. What's good with it, man? It's the homie Mac. Music, art, culture, knowledge. Each one, teach one. Peace and love. Uh, reporting live from the Dogon. Dogon, Dogon, Dogon. Um, this is a session of Mac Minutes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Like, share, comment, subscribe. But I'm done with the formalities. <coughs> Where do I go? Where where do I where do I go from here? Basically, um, I had a brother I know tell me that uh, I need to try something called retention or semen retention, where uh, basically you know no no ejaculation. So I guess that means no sexual intercourse. No masturbation, no porn, no nothing. Um, and he told me since he had started doing it, um, he felt like he tapped into, I guess, a, diff a different frequency, metaphysics. Um, or I guess on a scientific perspective, you know, non-spooky, non-metaphysics, um, there was a chemical reaction in his body. And he said he felt as though... He felt more calm, more even kiltered, um, and he felt like he was uh, mastering himself and becoming more self-disciplined. And he was telling me, you know, I should look into it. So when I Google semen retention or retention, I'm seeing a whole cornucopia of information. Different brothers making videos, not even just black men, but just white men, uh, men in general. And I was thinking, well, you know what? Let me see what this is all about. So, I want to—I don't want to give y'all too much information. I don't want to go to TMI, um, but I have not. I want to talk about my journey with retention. This is pretty much why I'm why I'm making this video. Um, I am a week in, so no ejaculation, no no seed <laughs> has been uh, pushed forth, and uh, I. I do notice a difference. I guess um, I feel more calm. Um, you know, I feel like since I've denied myself, uh, it's like a muscle. Since I've denied myself some of my fleshly carnal desires, uh, mind you, I'm I'm not single. I'm in a relationship. So, <laughs> uh, and I'm saying that to say like, it's when you have a partner that you can express yourself sexually with, sometimes it gets tougher. You know, I'm, I'm not watching porn, uh, none of that. Like I said, I'm, I'm a weekend. Um, and I notice the difference. I feel more, more relaxed. I've, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hearing that some of the benefits uh, are higher testosterone levels, uh, clearer skin, um, better focus. Um, you know, I'm only a weekend, so I don't, I don't, excuse me, I don't necessarily, uh, I can't give you guys like a, a deeper analysis other than just my, met how I feel internally. Um, I haven't seen any physical manifestations. Um, my, my voice, when I talk from my palate, my voice does feel a little deeper, like it resonates more since I've started, you know, this, re this whole retention journey. Um, I guess... I, I look at it as like self-discipline, controlling yourself. My mother would always tell me, you know, don't be a victim of your desires, fleshly desires, carnal desires, this world, this world, materialism. Don't get caught up in that. Um, and I think there's some Egyptian proverb where it says um, a man that cannot control what he puts in his stomach is easy to control. And it makes sense, because if you can't control your own fleshly carnal desires, um, you can be easily manipulated. Um, but yeah, what, what does all this mean? Uh, more or less, this is just a journey of self-reflection for me. Um, the, 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 man that, the, who, the man that I know that are engaging in this whole semen retention thing, retention, however you want to call it, um, it, I feel like they're on a journey. Uh, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Frederick Nietzsche's Uberman theory. 
um, in the book Thus Spoke Zarathustra. That's how I became familiar with the Uberman theory. The Uberman theory is pretty much, and we know Uberman is German for Superman. And Nietzsche said, you know, man is something that needs to be overcome. And I used to think, well, what the heck does that mean? Man is something that needs to be overcome. But then I get it. Overcoming your desires. O overcoming your lower self. Overcoming your carnality. Or as the Christian, the Christian church, they say, overcoming your flesh. Um, and, it, and it makes sense. I, f I feel like, you know, a lot of times as men, our testosterone... Our sex drive, uh, that influences a lot of our decision making. And I feel like a man that can control his decision making, who can control his desires, transcends manhood and becomes essentially a godlike figure. Um, yeah, because <laughs> if you can control your desires, and I remember a, mo a woman telling me, you know, the man that has control over his penis has control over the world. And let's look, let's, let's keep it a buck. A lot of men that lack control of their own sexual inclinations or desires usually lack self-control in a lot of other areas. Like I said, I've been, I'm a weekend, and I'm going I'm to keep posting up, you know, um, I'm going to keep updating y'all, posting up, updating y'all on my journey. Uh, a lot of the brothers I know, black and white, who have told me about their journey, uh, it, it seems like they're, they're reaching like a higher level of consciousness almost. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not trying to get too deep into spookism or metaphysics. Um, but yeah, I, you know, this week, I, I feel like it's like a muscle controlling my sexual urges, controlling my desires. Uh, I, I do have weak moments where it's just, hey, hey, girlfriend, you're looking really good. Or I can just get on this phone and relieve myself. But I, uh, I'm, I'm realizing since I have denied myself, it's becoming easier and easier. And I'm, I'm curious to see how far I can go with this and how it's going to resonate in other areas of my life. But I do know since I've done this whole retention thing, people are responding to me differently. People tell me, uh, my, my, the, my, I guess, how I come across, my, my vocal tone, my presence, my energy, it feels different. It feels more refined. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this is just higher self versus lower self. Um, I'm just a weekend... I'm going to let y'all know about my ups and downs. That may be a little bit, that may be TMI. I don't know. But I think this is a journey worth sojourning <laughs> or traveling. Uh, I feel good. Um, I, I, I feel like I have more energy. I feel more focused. Um, I feel more centered spiritually and physically. Uh, but I'm a weekend. Uh yeah, this is part one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna document my uh, my journey, and I, I feel very I feel good, I feel focused, and I I feel like I'm getting things done that I need to get done. Uh, but yeah, semen retention retention may sound crazy, but I I think uh, you know a lot of men need to master their, their their flesh, master their carnality, and I think it starts with our sexual desire desires. But the thing that sucks is the way uh, advertisements are, just the way the internet works. I, I think somebody had told me like 85% of the internet is pornography. So there's just so much cheap sexuality being sold. And it's so readily accessible. And by cheap, meaning um, it has no lasting value. It's just, it's, it's, it's fulfilling a, a temporary need or urge. Um... But what I'm, ultimately, what am I, what am I getting at? Um, I think retention is a good thing. Semen retention, however you want to classify it, call it. Um, I think that it, it uh, ultimately, it helps men become better because they learn how to master themselves. They learn how to master their sexual desires and sexual urges, and that resonates in how it just uh, on a greater scale with self improvement. <laughs> you know, like I said, I feel I feel more focused. I feel like I have more clarity. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Session of Mac Minutes. Semen retention. Never thought I'd make one of these videos, but I've heard of, I've had a lot of different brothers, black, white, Latino, Asian, that uh, told me that I should try it. So I'm trying it. Uh, let's see how this goes. Reporting live from the Dogon. Each one teach one. 
Thumbs up, give me the likes, thumbs up, give me the likes. I'm signing out. Each one, teach one, peace and love. From the Dogon, I'm out.